After spending a combined 43 years in the military, a Siouxan couple is continuing to serve by helping others still in the military. And on this Veterans Day, KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach introduces us to Lynn and Bob Armentrout in our top story at 10. They have endless energy. Um, all you have to do is whisper something you want done, and they're there. Joanne Pearson in the Sioux City Elks Lodge community know firsthand how dedicated Lynn and Bob Armitrout are when it comes to giving back to veterans. Unique couple, very unique in their experiences and their wealth of knowledge. They have a lot to offer, and they do whatever they can. Memories. Seems like a long time ago. Both Lynn and Bob have deep roots inside the United States Air Force. Both of their journeys in the military began after high school. I realized I really didn't know what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do, so um, the military was a, an avenue to you know, give me some more experience and um, follow some family traditions and things of that nature, but uh, more importantly, just to um, kind of broaden my, my horizon, so to speak. Be a good leader, get along with people, uh, just be a good person, always serve your community. In your country. Lynn served 27 years. First sergeant and then into my chief enlisted role. Bob served 16 years. Air staff and then the joint chiefs of staff. The couple reached major milestones in their careers, but looking back, they say they're most thankful for the relationship they built serving together in Afghanistan. It was not love at first sight. <laughs> we actually weren't very fond no, of each no. other. Although people thought we were, we were not very fond of each other, but eventually, um, you know, we broke down the walls and got to know each other. And While in Afghanistan, Lynn was assigned to a special operations task force, while Bob was deployed to support the larger Air Force mission. Lynn actually had some, some of my troops under her command that, so we had to work together to, you know, to, you know, to help what she needed from the special ops side. And, you know, I still was looking out for my guys and, and their equipment and things like that. So that's really how we started working together. The pair worked in different capacities, but shared a common goal to protect the men and women under their command. But when you're in those, those combat uh, sort of environments, then really it's that day to day, this is what you've been trained to do. And, and there's more meaning, meaning to what you're doing, uh, you feel like you're making a difference. After serving six months in Afghanistan, the couple returned to their base in Clovis, New Mexico. There, they came to the agreement that it was time to retire and start a life together outside of the military. I was ready to come back, I guess, after sacrificing all the family relationships and friendships. I, I was ready to come back and be still. Since moving back to Sioux City in 2014, the couple has dedicated their time to giving back to local organizations that support veterans. We do a lot with support Siouxland soldiers. We do a lot with the Elks, uh, the soup kitchen, and we just all those serve veterans in different capacities. Their efforts are not only geared towards supporting nonprofits, but they're wanting to be an outlet and mentor for young high school graduates. You know, they'll come ask us, would you know? What does this job entail? What does that job entail? And so I really like that. Lynn and Bob say they hope to be an outlet for others to connect with in Siouxland. They are extremely proud of their time spent in the United States Air Force. And they hold on to the memories that they say will last them a lifetime. So I still wear, you know, some of my old PT, you know, you know, shirts and gear. I'm very proud of our background in Air Force. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it certainly is good to move on, but... They're still, um, miss it a lot. For Veteran Voices, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.